Great, welcome to Hill Survivor's Prologue. Well, it's a demo version of the actual game, which will be linked in the description below. So, yeah. If you want to go ahead and screw around with this game for yourself, well, that's where you can find a link. Feel free to yell at me in the comments below if I have somehow forgotten the link. I've been known to do that from time to time. Also, uh, yeah. My voice is a bit of an acquired taste. So there's that. Hmm. You know, let's just go for Lord Ashfield. And just, uh, let's see now. Yep, I guess we're going for the default. Yep, Dark Caverns. Especially since this is the first impressions video. Oh, so it's not one of those auto-firing uh, games. Oh dear. Hmm, yeah, that's gonna put a twinkle in my plan for this uh, run. So I guess we're just gonna tie them around in circles and hope uh, I don't die. Okay, let's see. Now, can we circle back and gather the XP up? And just, uh, try not to die. Yay, first level up. Hmm. You don't win tonight. Your bullets have a 35% chance to inflict freeze for 3 seconds. Boss enemies are only affected, uh, by a freeze for 0.3 seconds. Holy Flail summons a Holy Flail that deals 40 damage. I'll take that one. I need all the damage I can get. That's often how it goes in these games. Especially since it's a weapon that I don't have to, uh, manage. Like the pistol. So, uh, yeah. I can just walk around and see if, uh... Let's see, now. Hmm. Yes, I'm just, uh, seeing about the, uh... Video and stuff. So... There's a working settings menu, and you can add it from the, uh, start screen, so that's nice. Yeah, one of those games I played, uh, before... I have seemingly forgotten to do that. So, I'm not gonna name the name of the game that did that, but I'm sure you can go back and find it. Hmm, let's see now. Ooh, hey, magnetism, MSP pickup range, plus 50%. Yoink! That's an automatic, uh, yoink for me. You know, it's funny. As soon as I got the Holy Flail, I stopped using my pistol because the Holy Flail is an objectively better weapon than the pistol. Mostly because I don't have to actively manage it. Which is nice. Although I guess the pistol uh, can be used for when enemies get a bit too close, but, uh, yeah. Ow. Yeah, that enemy got too close. Hmm. Okay, holy claw, after shooting your last ammo, strike nearby enemies for 20 damage. I'll take that one. That sounds like fun. Hey, yoink. Ow. Got too close. I see that's followed me over from Potato. Or just the general lack of awareness I have in these games for some bizarre reason. Hmm. I really need to find some way of upping my movement speed. And maybe getting a regen going. Hmm. Holy Flail inflicts uh, holy water on enemies. Holy water damage is increased by 15% from zero, which is still zero. Or I can do the tamer and summon damage plus 30%. Let's go around with the tamer. Screw it. We're doing the tamer. Yoink! Hmm. Okay. I think I just wasted that, uh, trade slot, to be brutally honest with you. Cause, uh, there's nothing. Yeah, there's really nothing. Hmm. So I guess all that's left to do is survive the, uh, horde of idiots that are trying to kill me. Some would argue successfully. Hmm. Nimble hands, plus 20% reload rate, plus 5% fire rate, wind cutter, movement speed plus 10, holy damage, well, holy flails damage is increased by bonuses to your movement speed. That sounds like it would synergize pretty well. So, I'll take the wind cutter. Yoink! And I can move slightly faster, so that's uh, always a good thing. Especially in games like these. Hmm. I really need to get that reload rate increased drastically. Yes, I just had lunch, if you're wondering. Hamburgers and barbecue Doritos. Which I didn't know were an actual thing, but uh, I guess uh, Doritos uh, makes barbecue chips. And they're actually kind of uh, good. Mm. Oh well. It is what it is. So, ooh, hey. Celery tea. Celery tea. Oh well. This one. The middle one. 
Movement speed plus 20%, fire rate plus 5%. Yoink! Tsunami Holy Flail is doing 61 damage, and it's one-shotting absolutely everything on the map. And that's a good thing. Hmm. I wish the, uh, Final Strike did some more damage now. Because, uh, yeah, it's helping out quite a bit in clearing out these idiots. Okay, let's see now. Let's try not to play chicken with these, uh, enemies, because, uh, someday I'm gonna lose that game. Hmm. Abundance, um, uh, SP were... Pickup range, plus 20%, each SP orb has a 10%, 10% chance to refill one ammo. Also, there's a bit of a speech impediment going on, so if you're wondering there, yeah, sometimes I just stutter, which is why I say my voice isn't in quiet taste. So, let's see now. Holy Blow and Holy Flail inflicts uh, Holy Water on enemies. Nah, I think I want the abundance for the uh, more SP factor. Yoink! Because I'm pretty sure I'm going to be getting a lot of SP. Yep. Yeah, I really need to increase the damage rate from the uh, final strike, I think it's called. The one that uh, just does uh, plenty damage in an area. And, uh, well, I didn't pay attention. And I survived 2 minutes and 58 seconds. So, um, let's see. Now, do I unlock anybody? No. Oh dear. So I guess we're gonna be doing this one again. Can you want uh, you? Nope. I guess we're going right back to the beginning. Cause here I go. And that's always fun to do. Is just go straight back to the beginning because uh, you lost your RNG rolls. Yeah, I don't know why these games uh, rely on RNG so much. For uh, the record, I like to see more choices being presented to you upon level up for the uh, RNG factor, so. That's a bit less of an issue. Maybe like five choices instead of three because Deep Rock Galactic Survivors also does that thing. And I think that game relies way too much on RNG, especially for those missions that require upgrading certain weapons. And those are always a pain. Hmm. Let's get the seller team so I can add the 20% movement speed and the 5% fire rate. Yoink! Hmm. I wonder, does it affect, uh, you when you're firing, uh, services? N not really. Hmm. Let's see now. Alright, I forgot I didn't have an auto firing weapon. That's gonna trip me up. Especially since I'm just so used to having an auto firing. An auto fire weapon in these, uh, sorts of games. Hmm. Let's see now. Alright, so that's another level up, and you know what, Stuart, let's, uh, get the discipline for the 100% watch speed. I was gonna say, uh, one through nine, but, well, I saw the watch speed. And I need to get away from these, uh, enemies pretty quickly because of that exact reason. So I'll always go for moving speed first. Hmm. Let's see, now, I guess I'm gonna cut the rest of this out, just so I can just show the level ups. Ooh, hey, another level up. Let's get the vitality for the, uh, 100, uh, SP. Well, the 100 HP, I mean, not SP. Yeah, I got those two messed up. Oh, well, it is what it is. Oh, hey, another level up. So, let's see now. Oh, hey, Fugitive, plus 20% dodge. Yoink. Anything to help my survivability odds at this, uh, point in time would be nice. No, I wonder if there's a machine gun in this game or something like that, just so I can, uh, spit out a ton of bullets pretty quickly. I'm sure there will be, hopefully, in a future update, if there isn't one right now. Alright, so just dodge that one, and let's see now. Can I do both of them? Yes, I can. And I got that one, too. Oh, boy. I think that's a boss. Yep, that's probably a boss. So, let's see now. Yep, boss. And I only have this uh, super li little pistol. Luckily, I can, uh, move pretty quickly, and just, uh, keep tidying these idiots around. So that's also nice. And just stay out of the range of the, uh, horde. Who knows, maybe I'll actually win this run, so, um, yeah. And I did! That's the first boss. Hmm... Let's take the power shot for the plus 40, uh, bullet damage and not bad 20. Yoink! Right, so that was the first boss. I'm 
really wish there was a timer to show how long you survived in this game. Who knows, maybe in a future update. Or maybe it's just down there. And I am 6 minutes and 9 seconds in. Hmm. Yeah, I don't think I like that, uh, location for the timer, because that's just straight up hard to read, if not impossible. Because I didn't even know it was there! Yeah, putting the timer right next, uh, to the XP counter is probably not a good idea, Dev. So, if you're, uh, listening to this video, please fix that and just put it up in the left corner or something. Or just put it in the, uh, top middle of the screen where it's, uh, easily visible and bid. And easily visible. Yeah, I think I've said that those words twice now. So, um, yeah, that's, uh, something I'd like to see change in, in a future update. Okay. Here comes another boss. I'm probably not gonna make it past this one, and then uh, I guess the video will end. Hmm. I don't know how I dodged that, but I guess that's a 20% uh, dodge rate. Kicking in. And another level up. Hmm. Let's see. Now, edgies, uh, plus 5% dodge, 100%, um, plus 100 XP. I think I'll take that. Yoink. So I should have a 25% dodge, uh, rate chance. So that's good. Yeah, this is probably why the, uh, holy flail is, uh, necessary. Especially since I'm, on uh, the last 7 XP. I don't know how I survived that. Or that. Hmm, I really wish there was some sort of, uh, HP regeneration feature in this game, but I don't think there is because, uh, I haven't found it yet. Or if it is, it's probably lots behind some, uh, paywall that I had to pay with, uh, in-game money. At least I hope it's in-game money and not IRL money. Otherwise, I might have issues with that. And I just died. Oh, well. It is what it is. So, yeah, that was all Survivors, or the prologue for it. So, links for this game will be in the description below. The full game, that is. And I guess I'll, I will see you in the next one tomorrow at uh, 4.30 p.m. Mountain Time, U.S. So, um, yeah. See you then. Also, I might just uh, start a third channel just for the uh, computer reviews that I'm thinking about doing. So, yeah. There's that. Bye.